Getting your car fixed is going to take longer than you expect. Yeah, supply chain crisis is fueling problems for auto repair shops, and they just can't keep up with demand. KSHB 41 reporter Daniela Leone tells us why shops might be turning you away and how this could be hurting your wallet. Daniela, good morning. Hey, good morning, Lindsay and Ray. Yes, mechanics right now can't catch a break whatsoever. You know, employees are out sick because of COVID-19. They can't get car parts, and the winter weather is driving up demand. And this is leaving auto repair shops slammed with work. The phone won't stop ringing at Casey Complete Auto Service off of Main Street. I, I definitely have the key in. I'm just waiting on those parts to come in. Just bear And callers are being greeted with the same answer. I'm sorry, we're unable to get the part for that. Their car is broken down and they need it fixed. The last thing they want to hear is you can't get their parts. You don't have enough people to work on their car. Store manager Jessica Warren says small jobs like brakes and suspension work are now taking days to get fixed. Suppliers are running out of parts and that's driving up the price you pay at the counter. On a typical brake job for a passenger vehicle is now 400 to 485. Their parking lot is filled with cars needing repair work. Employees are working tirelessly, but COVID is throwing them a wrench. We want everyone to be safe, but that leads to staffing issues, you know, and you don't have enough people wanting to work as it is. And the winter weather is not helping. It causes a lot of accidents, which we don't wish upon anyone. But that damages vehicles, and then those need to be repaired as well. So we see the demand from both sides of that. And Casey Complete Auto Service says they're also finding it really hard to find parts for Hyundai's and Kia's. And this is also impacting American makers. In fact, when I was there yesterday, they were scrambling to find a bolt for a Toyota Camry. They're also noticing people trying to do their own repair work. Their advice is to get up from underneath that car and leave the big jobs to the pros and prepare to wait. Ray and Lindsay? Absolutely. Daniela, our family car was uh, on the lot for like three days oh, just wow. waiting for a simple repair for some of the same issues, staffing, all that. It's such a huge deal for so many people when they can't drive their car. They need it every single day. What are people doing in the meantime? That is absolutely right, Lindsay. You know, a lot of people are relying on public transportation and ride shares, but it's a good idea to also try to be proactive and winterize your car. Check for fluids, check your tire pressure, and also check the tread of your tires. Bring out that old Abraham Lincoln penny that we all have and put it against the tread of your tires. And if you can see good old Abraham Lincoln's head, it is time for you to change those tires. Ray and Lindsay, great really good information advice. to know. Uh, Daniela, thank you so much.